Fifi Lee, hailed as the godmother of AI, once said, Artificial intelligence is not a substitute for human intelligence. It's a tool to amplify human creativity and ingenuity. This sentiment resonates profoundly as we witness the continuous advancement of AI in catalyzing progress and future innovation. In an ever-evolving digital landscape, generative AI stand out as a beacon of innovation, transforming how we create, design, and interact with digital content. Now, if you want to become one to redefine the boundaries of creativity and problem solving in the digital age, but are confused about where to start with, then you just clicked on the right video. So, with vibrant excitement and a passionate spirit, Edureka welcomes you all to our YouTube channel and this time, let's take a step in transforming our ideas into innovation with this video on Generative AI Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will get step-by-step -step guide on how to write AI prompts to get best possible results from text-to-text -text and text-to-image generative AIs. You will learn to understand generative AI capabilities and write prompts that minimize misinformation and biased results. You will also learn how to preface your prompts and add details to them to generate consistent results. But before we begin, kindly consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Moving forward, let's have a quick look at today's agenda. Firstly, we'll start by understanding AI, followed by a detailed explanation of what is generative AI and what is AI prompt writing. Then we'll dive into text-to-text -text generative AI, exploring ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT 4, and Google Gemini. After that, we'll take a look at text-to-image generative AI and the general rules of prompt writing for text-to-text -text and text-to-image generative AI. So, we will be exploring a multitude of engaging topics in today's video. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video to catch every intriguing discussion. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Introduction to AI Starting with AI, what comes to your head when you hear this thing called AI or Artificial Intelligence? Some of you might say Alexa or Siri, or some of you even might give examples of AI tools such as ChatGPT or AI Bard. But what exactly is AI and how does it work? Let us understand. Artificial Intelligence refers to the development of computer systems capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. It is like having a super smart friend who can learn from information, make decisions, and even do tasks without being explicitly programmed to do so. Now, let's dive into the working of AI. AI works by using algorithms, which are like step-by-step -step instructions to process data and make decisions. Think of it as teaching a computer to learn from examples. First, the computer collects a bunch of data, like pictures of cats and dogs. Then, it learns to recognize patterns in the data. For example, it might notice that cats have pointy ears and dogs have floppy ears. Next, when you show the computer a new picture, it uses what it learned from the data and guess if it's a cat or a dog based on the patterns it recognizes. Over time, as it sees more examples and gets feedback on its guesses, it gets better at recognizing cats and dogs. Today, we are all surrounded by AI, from voice assistants like Siri and Alexa to self-driving cars and personalized recommendation systems on streaming platforms. AI is all around us, making our lives easier and more exciting. Now, coming to generative AI, it is a subset of artificial intelligence, focused on creating new content such as images, text, music, or other forms of data that is original and not directly copied from existing examples. While conventional AI learns from existing data to spot patterns and make predictions, Generative AI goes a step further. It learns from the data it is given and uses that knowledge to create brand new content like images or texts. Generative AI algorithms are often based on deep learning architectures, such as generative adversarial networks or variational autoencoders. It learns to generate new content by learning the distribution of the training data and then sampling from this learned distribution to create new realistic outputs. Now, if you are wondering what generative adversarial networks or variational autoencoders are, then you can enroll in our Prompt Engineering with Generative AI course to have a detailed explanation of these algorithms. For now, you can consider these algorithms as the techniques used in artificial intelligence to generate new data, like images or text, based on the patterns they have learned from existing data. So, 
By now, I hope that you have understood the concept of generative AI. And now let's move forward and understand AI prompt writing. Prompt writing involves providing a specific instruction or question to guide the creation of written content. It serves as a starting point of framework to direct writer's thought and organize their ideas. For example, if your teacher asks you to write an essay about climate change, that's a prompt. Or if someone gives you a sentence or a picture to inspire a story, that is also a prompt. Usage of proper prompts becomes very important because they give you a clear idea of what you need to write about. They help you to stay focused and organized, making it easier to come up with ideas and express yourself. Let's understand this with an example. Here we have two prompts. The first prompt says, describe a memorable childhood experience focusing on how it made you feel. And the second one says, write about something you like. Which one do you think is better one? It's obviously the first one. How? Because it tells exactly what you need to write about, a childhood memory and how it made you feel. This helps you to focus and share a personal story that is meaningful to you. In contrast, the second prompt is a less effective prompt as it lacks specificity. It just says to write about something you like and which could be anything. This might make it hard to come up with the ideas and write something interesting. So having good prompts can effectively make a difference in your writing. They give you a clear idea of what you need to write about and help you to stay focused and organized, making it easier to come up with ideas and express yourself. Now, Let's move forward and dive into text-to-text -text generative AI. As the name suggests, in text-to-text -text generative AI, you give text-based prompts and expect a text-based output. It is more like having a smart computer that can read and write text. Imagine you ask it a question and it gives you a detailed answer, just like a knowledgeable friend would do. Or you give it a sentence and it continues the story with more sentences, just like an imaginative storyteller. This AI can understand written words and generate new text based on what it knows. It is like having a helpful writing buddy who can brainstorm ideas, provide information, or even create stories and articles for you. Text generation uses machine learning, existing data, and previous user input in generating responses. Generative AI can be used to understand text, create content, debug code, education, research, translation, virtual assistant, and much, much more. But giving prompts to this generative AI is something that is going to make a difference in its effectiveness. And that's why here are some general rules to follow during AI prompt writing. Let's have a look at them. Rule number one, start simple. Start with a simple prompt and then you can build on it. Rule number two, call to action. Start the prompt with an action word like write, create, or summarize instead of words like can you. Rule number three, add context. Add specific and relevant context to the task you want to perform. Rule number four, add expectations. Add clear and direct expectations for the content, like how long it should be and what to include. Let's check this with an example. Over here, if you see this prompt, create a schedule for a professional programmer based on the following criteria. It should complete eight hours of sleep, six hours of programming. If you look at this prompt, it implements all the four rules that we have discussed above. So, as you saw in the last example, we used ChatGPT 3.5 and now let's explore more about ChatGPT 3.5. ChatGPT 3.5 is a smart AI chatbot developed by OpenAI which was launched in November 2022. This version of ChatGPT can talk with you, answer your questions and assist in different tasks. Anyone can use ChatGPT 3.5 by creating an account with OpenAI. It knows a lot about many topics and can give detailed answers. However, some people have mentioned that ChatGPT 3.5 doesn't always get the things right. Now, to get an overall enhancement in technology and performance, ChatGPT 4 was introduced. ChatGPT 4 is an updated version of ChatGPT 3.5 developed by OpenAI and was launched in March 2023. It is a next level up for ChatGPT 3.5. This version is smarter and understands you better. It can handle more complex questions and gives you detailed answers and even understands pictures, not just words. It is like ChatGPT 3.5, but with a major boost in skills and abilities. Now let's compare ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. ChatGPT 3.5 was trained on the data available until June 2021. 
whereas GPT-4 includes information up to September 2021 and even some after that, making it more up to date. GPT-3.5 has 175 billion parameters, but GPT-4 leaps forward with over 1 trillion parameters, indicating a significant increase in complexity and potential understanding. GPT-3.5 offers limited corrections and suggestions, while GPT-4 provides a broader range enhancing its utility. GPT-4 introduces improved safeguards, making it 82% less likely to produce responses to disallowed content compared to the more limited safeguards in GPT-3.5. GPT-3.5 context retention is limited to 3000 words, but GPT-4 extends its capacity to around 25000 words, allowing for more complex and nonsense conversation. GPT-3.5 can deliver responses within seconds. But GPT-4, due to processing larger volumes of data and more complex algorithms, it may take a minute or more for larger responses. GPT-3.5 is primarily text-based with no capability to understand images, while GPT-4 can comprehend and describe images and even make suggestions based on them. These differences illustrate the significant improvements made by ChatGPT-4 over ChatGPT-3.5, from training data and model complexity to functionality and safety features, making it a more powerful and versatile tool. Moving forward, let's also check Google Gemini. Google Gemini, which was previously known as Google Bard, refers to a family of large language models developed by Google DeepMind. These models leverage multimodal and multitask learning to achieve capabilities beyond traditional text-based LLMs. Google Gemini denotes a collection of large language models trained on diverse modalities such as text, code, audio, image, and video, encompassing various tasks such as question answering, summarization, translation, code generation, etc. It embodies a significant advancement in AI, transcending text based models to offer multimodal and multitasking capabilities. This enables deeper understanding comprehensive analysis and broader applicability across various domains, paving the way for powerful and versatile AI tools. So, after exploring text-to-text -text generative AI, let's move forward to text-to-image generative AI. Have you ever imagined a cat wearing a wizard hat and riding a skateboard? Or maybe a picture showing a tiny city built on a leaf complete with its own little cars and houses? How about an image of a dinosaur and a unicorn having a picnic together? These ideas might sound whimsical or out of ordinary, but thanks to an innovative kind of machine learning called text-to-image generation, they can be brought to life. This technology allows for the creation of vivid, lifelike images just from a simple text description, making even the most imaginative scenes possible to visualize. But how does it work? Let's check that out. With text-to-image technology, you tell the computer what you want to see, like an apple or a cat sitting on a couch, and it creates a picture that looks just like what you have described. We can even ask for something more detailed, like a cute sloth holding a tiny treasure chest with a bright golden glow coming out of it. Over the last few years, these systems have gotten really good because they have been shown tons of pictures and the words that describe them. This has made the pictures they create better and more varied. One of the most widely tools for generating images from text descriptions is Desgo, which is accessible to users at no cost. Now, let's transition on a computer setup and explore some hands-on demonstration using Desgo. So here you can see the user interface of Desgo. So let's start by giving it a prompt. Let's give a prompt like a cat wearing a wizard hat. So a cat wearing a wizard hat. Click on run. Now, this Desgo is available for free. It might take some time. So, let's keep our patience and check. Okay, so here you see a cat who is wearing a wizard hat. Now, this image is a complete new image. Okay, and that is the speciality of text to image generative AI tools. It gives a new image and it got the new image from the previous data sets that it has been trained on. Generative AI has changed the creativity by offering new ways to generate content like images, text, and music. As these technologies 
continue to advance, the possibilities for innovation and expressions are endless, promising an exciting future of limitless creativity. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!